damaged rod bearings. How is she still running? Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to BeamNG Drive and also welcome to the Nardo High Speed Ring. Now this is one of the fastest tracks in the world and we're here to, well, we're here to do, we're here to do some things. Let me tell you what, we are here to see, first off, what we can do when we push some cars to their absolute limit and how long we can keep them away from the wall, basically. So let's start with something fairly simple. Um, this thing is, well, let's see, 6.0. I don't know which one of those is newer or not. Uh, the 404, that's just something weird and wacky. And, oh God, this tilt board might be a little bit weird. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. All right, hang on. There's, There are things that we could do here. But, 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 there's a but. Um, let's see if we could do, ooh, that would be an option as well. Without any more, like, rambling on and looking around at different cars, let's grab, I think, just something normal like this uh, ATK um, K-series, or, sorry, ETK K-series. And we'll do the track day version, and then we'll see if there's any kind of crazy, like, maybe maybe anything crazy we can do with the engine. I don't think that there is, but let's see about turning that trash control off, and we'll use realistic gearbox behavior, and then, what does that do? Oh, oh, I see what that does. Is it bad that I, okay, alright, so, ESC, powertrain... Engine, oh, that just turns it off. Boy, okay. All right, engine back on. And then, let's see, manage, home select, no, not remove. Fun stuff, we don't really need to worry about that right now. Yeah, that's all just like blowing it up. And let's see, vehicle config. That may be what we're looking for, actually. Maybe what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and jump in here real quick. We've got parts, body, unibody. I mean, you don't really have any other options for that, do we? Tuning. So, tuning doesn't really give us much in terms of, like, parts-wise. Well, parts is really the only thing that, like, okay, yeah. License plate design, paint design, body. Oh! All right. Here we go. Engine. Three liter inline six. Three liter inline six diesel. Two liter inline four diesel. Okay, yeah, we can't really do anything too crazy there with the engine. I was kind of thinking about putting some sort of, like, ridiculous engine in it, but it I don't think it really wants me to put some sort of ridiculous engine in it. So, let me see if we can spawn something else for the uh, for the purpose of doing something, you know. It, um, 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 um! What is this? All right. Hi. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Buggy Drift, Buggy Cletus McFarland Edition. That's amazing. <laughs> That's ridiculous and amazing in every possible way. That is totally what we're going to bring here. Uh, uh oh. So every time, every time we try to spawn that, the game just dies. So that's not going to work. Okay, that's not going to work whatsoever. I was really hoping to drive this map um, with Leroy. But it looks like Leroy is uh, not feeling it at all. Like, straight up not okay. Like, literally straight up not okay. What about Buggy Race Turbo Stage 3? Maybe? Oh, it's going to make it. No, it's not. It just blows up. Yeah, it literally just blows up. Okay, well, it was good while it lasted, I guess. Like, it was it was okay. Oh, God, the low rider. Oh, my God. That's, that's going to be hilarious. But the only thing is, I don't know how to use the hydraulics of it. The, and the problem with that, too, is the fact that, like, we're at the freaking Nardo high-speed ring. Oh, wait, I see here. Hop all is Y, apparently. Oh, my God. T. 
tees for the front. Jeez, this is amazing. If you hold it, it keeps it up. That's, that is, that is brilliant. What? <laughs> oh my God, that actually goes a lot higher than it has any business going, which means now we're going to do what we originally set out to do, make something really stupid really fast. All right, parts, frame, engine. Okay, 291. Yes, 423 cubic inch ultra thrust V8. That sounds that sounds wonderful. That sounds absolutely wonderful. All right, so now let's head back into the game. And we're going to go ahead and set realistic gearbox behavior, put it in drive. Oh jeez. It can barely keep itself together. And now we head out onto the Nardo high-speed ring for the very first time. So let's see. Will the car be able to stay in its lane without turning? That's the question. Uh, no. I had to turn just there. Oh, but now it's going down. Okay, I'm laying off the steering for now. Completely, I am not touching the steering. Oh, it's going back up. Oh, but wait! But wait! I'm not touching the steering at all. Not touching it at all. Dude, it's turning by itself. It is turning by itself. Oh my god, we did that and it's still going. It's still going. Holy crap. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try and make it hop again. That is amazing, and it'll do that while staying in the, like, the proper direction without... I'm, I'm still not steering. Look, like, well, it looks like I might have to steer in a second, but no! Literally! Okay, look. Look at this. Look at this. We are not going anywhere. We're not, like, I am just holding the gas. There's literally nothing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, like, look. Okay, again, I will show you again. I am just holding the gas. There's nothing more I'm doing right now. Nothing more I'm doing right now, and yes, I know I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller for PC, but you know what? I like it, so th that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> oh my god, this is just brilliant. What if I jump all four wheels? That will probably throw us off. Over rev risk? What? Okay. There's your little, like, I guess control tower out there. That is amazing. Dude, normally, like, I would never have thought to come to... Uh-oh. We're overheating. Well, we're about to overheat, I should say. Dude, can you imagine freaking, like, fuel uh, fuel mileage tests out here? Like, just bring something out here that is tapped all the way out and just run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it all the way around until it either runs out of fuel or explodes. Sounds like a fun live stream. Sustaining at 116 miles an hour. I get the feeling that the car is not really going to go much faster than that. I think that might be... That might be where she's going to live. Oh. Well, it didn't over-rev risk. It did not have an over-rev risk that time. It's sparking! Oh, that's amazing! What? That is wonderful. Coolant overheating. Oh, this is getting bad now. <laughs> We're hopping down the high speed ring at over 100 miles an hour. Uh oh, we are actually legitimately in the red right now. The radiator may not live much longer. Piston rings damaged. Oh, this thing's this this high speed ring is gonna kill this car. Oil overheating. Oh, we're gonna blow this engine. We are, uh-oh, head gasket damage. Oh, we blew the head gasket, boys. We blew the head gasket, boys. Oh, no. Oh, God, how much longer is this poor lowrider going to last? The last rod bearings damaged. Oh, no. So we've got damaged piston rings, a blown head gasket, and damaged rod bearings. How is she still running? Oh, it's dying. We blew the motor. We blew the motor in less than a lap. 
Oh my god. We blew the motor in less than a lap. Wow. Well, as the... No way. Is that the pits? Dude, that's the pits. Can we coast? Can we coast all the way back in? Oh. It may still do a lap. Oh my god, it may still do a lap. Holy crap, dude. Oh, is it gonna make it? I don't think so. No! Oh, 26, 25, 24, ooh, 23, 22, 20, 21. Ah, no! Oh, my God. If this coasts all the way back in, I highly doubt that it will, though. We will have just done a lap of the Nardo high-speed ring in the freaking, like, freaking low rider one blown motor later wow wow as she coasts to a halt barely made it back into the pits wow the old girl didn't last she didn't last at all but you know what that lines us up for our one more test. We got to do one more crazy vehicle. We got to do something ridiculous. I'm telling you, we got to do something insane. What is the... Oh, God. Uh, that, that... I don't know about that. I don't know about that thing. What about the I-Series? Mm, oh, that's like a DTM car type deal. I'm looking for something like insanely fast. I tried a bunch of these, like these buggies, but they always like basically exploded. You know what I mean? Like they basically, they, they got spawned in and then they were, they were done for. There was nothing really left. There's two Barstows in here for some reason. Ah, the awful. Good to see ya. Um, King Snake, Diesel Dragster, three-speed Dragster. Oh, God. These are some ridiculous builds. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be dumb. But we're going to find out what it could do on the Nardo high-speed ring. And we're also going to find out whether or not it was a massive accident to bring it here. Because um, I, 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 I think it might have been. Ooh, it also might have... Oh! I was going to say, it also might have crashed the game just then, but I, 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 I was like, did it? The sound makes no sense. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Forgot how fragile this thing was. Arming the NOS, let's go! It's so nuts. No! Uh, you can't keep it like... Oh. It sounds like a demonic RC car! Oh. Oh, this is not okay! Whoa! Nearly 300 miles an hour by the time that happened. Let's see if we can finish a lap. No, 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 no. I've lost one of the wheels. No. Still going 200 on three wheels. Grinding up against the barrier. Not okay. Oh, we've slowed down to 200 now. Betcha it still finishes the lap. Betcha it still finishes the lap. The engine's fine. The engine's fine. The two rear tires, which produce the, like, well, which provide the connection to the, like, between the power and the road, are fine. So we can finish. I think. Oh, no. It's bouncing all over the track. Ah! Oh, God. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone very wrong. Oh, it's salvageable. Not really. Over rev risk. Oh, no. Oh, it won't go anymore. No! 
No, it claims its next victim. This has not gone well, boys. Well, if there was any place to end it, I think that would be it. But if you guys enjoyed the Nardo High Speed Ring and Beam G Drive, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.